What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about SoFi. Another tentative sell-off today, so it did close 2.86% in the red. I want to give you an overview of some of the current data points, as well as a lot of money it's getting into options. So I just want to kind of break it down on what that is truly telling us. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that said, let's get right to it. So like I said, 2.86% in the red today, so somewhat in line with the broader market's pullback, and we already do generally know exactly what caused it so nothing really new in that regard same as yesterday 33.5 million shares were traded 53.5 is the average no official news or SEC filings uh, today to really justify anything so it was again just piggybacking off of the broader market there was this that was posted on Twitter regarding Galileo and wisdom tree and nothing really new uh, so this is just more of a regurgitation I believe this partnership was announced in 2022 I just wanted to bring this up because I think some people are taking this for a new partnership when technically it was is kind of old so still regardless kind of good stuff wisdom tree has a lot of ETFs as you can kind of see a lot of them are through seeking alpha so still I think that's a good thing aside from all the fun stuff today shorts did decide to increase a 659,000 shares 17.06 percent of the free flow is being shorted and that works out to be 169.31 million shares so shorts obviously rightfully so kind of increasing you did see SoFi first thing though starting to somewhat go up so it had some optimism and that was due to retail sales coming out better than anticipated so this is why you saw for instance like Lululemon Nike doing somewhat okay but then of course the middle finger by the broader market just came and took hold of everything but when it comes to a lot of articles coming out they are starting to analyze options and the data are surrounding that so even for instance today and even the last let's say two weeks a lot of money has been getting into SoFi through options. So $5.19 million in calls being purchased versus 2.63 in puts. Sentiment wise, very much evenly divided between optimism and bullish, so bullish bearish. But that being said, especially with SoFi's earnings right around the corner, a lot of people are kind of hedging through options so based off of this there is a consensus because options is just purely speculation just more of a sentiment because even if someone did buy for instance one million dollars at the 1050 strike price for let's say next week doesn't mean it's going to go to above 1050 by next week that's just crazy but a lot of people do really like to look at this more so as a, a sentiment like I said so with that said with their earnings kind of being encumbered in this there's a consensus for it to be roughly between the eight to nine dollar range of course like several weeks back that was more so about the 10 to 11 dollar range so optimism has gone down but regardless there still is a optimistic sense for their earnings and so I think it's fair to assume that they are going to have a home run earnings in my own opinion not financial advisor of course so let me know your thoughts on that there's been quite a few articles trying to analyze SoFi's options when it comes to big money these are some of the transactions that have occurred today on the secondary market these are some of the transactions that did occur on the dark pool so both exchanges relatively popular so given so far lower volume today you do see it was legitimate from institutions not necessarily algorithmic trading so I see that somewhat of a positive but regardless though based off of right now where it is closing at seven dollars and twelve cents it did close below this s2 so currently trading between this s3 and this s2 definitely this will be a very interesting point to watch for going into tomorrow and then obviously 688 will be that next strong support a lot of people do like the elite wave technical so i've brought this up in the past and for the most part it has been somewhat accurate so as you can kind of see it does have a pivot point of six dollars and 68 cents so for as long as sofi is above that then the technicals are pointing to roughly around a nine dollar price target if that 668 is to break then this is where you are anticipating kind of the mid five dollar range so regardless the foreseeable future is going to have a lot of volatility and so i think that's kind of assumed anything sofi related is definitely a lot of volatility 
volatility. But aside from that, looking at some of the recent analyst ratings, there's been absolutely nothing. The last one was done four days ago. So Mizuo and Deutsch. So Mark, who has a 63% success rating, and then Dan, 50% success rating. So I've already covered those in previous videos. I have also been watching analysts to see if they're going to be changing any of their, I guess, estimates for their upcoming earnings, whether it be for earnings per share or revenue. And so far, there hasn't been anything. So I'll continue to watch for this just to see if there's any changes. But as of right now, it looks like analysts are maybe taking a step back to see what happens on a larger scale as well as as a result of their earnings. But with all of that fun stuff said, on the actual chart itself, today it did transition from the higher to the lower percentile of the boiling band. You do see a very big deviation on the stochastics or red line above the white. So underlying sentiment is very negative right now. But despite that though, you do see it at 39, so somewhat neutral. And this is one thing I did say that if there was going to be some fear, it was going to cause it to go down quite significantly due to its it's overbought status so one positive way to kind of spin this sell-off if you want to do it like that technically it's resetting the technical so I think that's maybe a positive thing uh, again depending on what you can whatever floats your guys is boat but looking at momentum shows number of retail investors have been getting out so let me know your thoughts on SoFi are you for instance one of those individuals that is hedging with call options or puts and if so what is kind of your forte? What's your strike prices that you guys are orienting towards? And if you guys are playing options, is that gonna be through common stock or are you guys doing options? What's your viewpoint on all of that? As well, what's your thoughts on shorts slowly getting back in? if you want to consider 659,000 slow. But what's your thoughts on shorts? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And give yourself a shout out if you did buy today, sold, or whatever floats your boat. Let me know your thoughts. And with all that, appreciate all of you watching.